I'm going back now. Now then YouTube, welcome to another E46 video. Yes, the fire alarm battery's fucking chirping again. What can we do? It's the one that's right in the sky. The only way we're gonna be able to fix that is with a 2-2 rifle or something like that, I think. I don't think, uh, pound shot battery, definitely, but what can you do? Right, E46 video. So I've been up once through the week. I had a bit of a fail, quite a lot of fail. Um, the previous video when we were working on the M3, I was wiring up my fan and uh, we started disassembling the uh, cooling system on here. So I come up through the week, I managed to get those O-rings from BMW. Uh, what else did I get? I got some new clips and stuff. Oh, where are they actually? They're quite nice. Um, right, I got some new bolts as well. You know, them bolts that were all rusty. I got 20 of them just to be sure, because they were about 30p each. So I thought, fucking send it. They're painted now. They're, I'm pretty sure they were just zinc coated before. So we'll see if the paint lasts any longer. So I had another bit of a boo-boo. I did two boo-boos in that previous video. A few of you picked up on it. Not too many, actually. I was pretty proud of that. I managed to kind of fly under the radar a little bit on that. So first off, well, I fitted the fan before fitting the radiator. That's a big no-no. So I've had to buy a new fitting kit so we can fit the fan again. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, the second boo-boo was I wired the fan straight into the aux controller wiring. So if I plugged the fan in yet, yeah, I've not done it, but if I plugged the fan in now, it would just run continuously, uh, which is e not ideal, not ideal. I also cut the wiring. You saw I cut it, I thought I'd boo-boo, I'd actually double boo-booed because I, I cut it not only a bit further up and had to resolder it all, but then I cut it right down at the controller, um, which, which I'll show you. So this is the aux fan controller off the original radiator. And I, I cut the wiring, look, nice and fucking tight. So I, I do actually want to use this now. I opened this up the other day, that was a twat. Uh, I managed to get into it and, and these wires just terminate there pretty well. They, they go into the circuit board there, so we're not gonna have any joy on that. But yeah, we're gonna use this. I'm gonna, that's one of my jobs for today is just to sort this out. Um, so we'll mount this somewhere else. Obviously, we, this was mounted on the on the Arcs fan originally, so we'll find somewhere else to mount it. Um, so that was Boo Boo One. Boo Boo Two fitted the fan be, before putting the radiator in the car. There's absolutely no way, even with the viscous fan off and everything, there's absolutely no way I can get it in. Um, I might have been able to do it if I didn't fit the water pump ahead of schedule, but live and learn. If I didn't have the pulley for the aircon as well, I might have been able to do it. But that's a slimline fan as well, and it just I tried it everywhere you could and. Oh, no, no dice. So I've had to buy a new um, fitting kit for the fan and uh, I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ended up getting a new fan. Uh, quite quite a nice one, not not the best spell you can get because you know, Yorkshire price, this was about 110 quid or something like that. It's a 16 inch fan. That one's a, a 12 incher. Uh, but what's nice about this, what I saw some people on the M3 cutters had done, you see that top hole there? It lines up to a bottom hole there. We can actually affix this with fasteners on the radiator. I've just lined it up now. And the top and bottom ridge of the radiator, we can actually fix this properly. So um, I did actually get a fitting kit with it as well. Uh, the, the spell fitting kit's a bit, a bit posh. It's got like metal runners and stuff. So what I'll probably do is save that fan for the Integra because I've actually got a hybrid racing fan in a, in a box over there. It's been in a box for about three years. Um, but when we do get to the Integra, which will be winter project, I'm, I'm telling you, it's a winter pro I'm I'm driving that car next next January, just February, you know, I'm, I'm, we're doing it, fuck it, we'll just send it, right? So uh, yeah, we've got a new fan, we'll, we'll take that fan off, get the rad in the car, get all the coolant system back together, um, get this fan on, get it wired up, wired into the aux controller properly, which obviously will be a bit tricky, tricky. But then the next thing, which is probably gonna be a title of the video, just to try and mix things up a bit, uh, I've got one of these spoilers uh, the reason I bought a spoiler for the car is the last time I took it to the Nürburgring uh, on some of the faster corners, the one, the ones especially after Fon Skarten 2. Um, so you've got some really fast left rights, um, you know, way over 100 mile an hour through those corners. Uh, the back end just felt, whoa, it felt super light. And if you're trying to put power through the back end, that feels light. You know, you, you've got the real sketchy with the with the throttle pedal. So what I'm hoping this spoiler will do is just give me a little bit more confidence. It's not the biggest spoiler in the world. So it's a E92 GTS style one, let's say, from, from Alibaba or China or something like that. Still still quite expensive for a cheap spoiler. This was 400 quid second hand and that was a bit of a, a deal. Oh no, it was a bit less. The guy, Ian, sorted me out. It was one of those, I hope he was done a DC2 things, but I think he's, you know, we've been uh, touching tips on Facebook for a while. Anyway, long story short, he gave me a splitter as well for the front, so 
I'm going to put a splitter on the front. We're not going to have a proper wood splitter, but it's just more of a, an aesthetical splitter, which, you know, it's a bit, bit, bit gay, really, isn't it? I, I wouldn't normally advise doing that because we're going to be mounting the splitter to the bumper. It's not going to do anything, really. The way these bumpers mount are just on little plastic rivets, so, yeah, it's not going to do a lot. Ideally, I'd like to have a, a, a splitter to match this at the front, but I think uh, the front felt fine. It was just the back end that felt a bit light. I've also got some harder rear springs on the way. Uh, they were a bit of a twat to get. Um, but we've got some on the way, they're, they're, they're not the most, they're not barrel springs, which I would have preferred to have, but we've got some stiffer rear coil of springs, I've got 12 kilo in there now, and we're going up to 800 pounds, so you can do the math, um, quite a bit stiffer, and hopefully that'll be good for the spoiler, and also it'll match uh, with having this front and it roll bar going on, the Tegua one, which also might go on today if we get time. So this is a, like I say, M3 E92 GTS Styly. Now, I've seen quite a few people at the Nürburgring with these on and it's, it's been another one of those, well, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. And yeah, I quite like the style of these, I don't know, probably divide people, but it's, it's, it's function over form and I don't think it'll look too bad, to be honest. It's, one of my friends has got one of these on a silver M3 and it looks, looks all right, one of these. So the E92, sometimes they look a bit small on the E92, but um, yeah, I think it'll look all right. But again, it's not about looks, it's, it's about just having to see if I can get that just extra bit of confidence through those corners, go a bit faster. So I'm going to start by getting that fan off there. I want to do the wiring ahead of time because that's going to be a bit of a pain. And yeah, we'll get the cooling system back together and then we'll start drilling the boot lid. My boot lids, it's still got all the original um, plastics and you know, tool kit and all that still in there. So we'll have to get rid of that. Bit of weight saving. Still not weighed the car. We'll, we'll probably just have to weigh it afterwards now and say that it probably would have been way over 1400 kilos. I think the book figure for mine, because it had you know, the sat nav, the heated seat, it had quite a lot of options. It was a good one, I bought it because it was a good one. It was a standard car. The intention was to keep it standard. I know a lot of people say that and they'll fucking put a fucking dirty diesel sticker up the side. But I, I was intending to keep it standard just because it was more of an investment really and I was meant to sell it and buy an house. But who needs an house when you've got half the DC2 and an M3, eh? And that, oh, the MR2, oh, fuck the MR2. We'll, we'll come back to that, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. I need to do my video as well, telling you just how much that MR2 has cost me, because I think it might blow your mind a little bit. Or it certainly blew my, my mind a little bit. I thought I could sell my K21, which was about seven and a half grand or something like that, I think I sold it for. Um, I thought I could just put that aside and use all that to, to pay for the racing, but whoa, nope, <laughs> nope, uh, not quite, not quite. So uh, yeah, we'll get to that. I'm going to get started. I'll um, probably start on the wiring because it's a nice job. I'm still clean. You know, I'll, I'll start on the wiring, try and get that aux fan somewhere nice. I'm going to put the radiator in uh, the car, take the fan off just so then I can look at where I'm going to mount the actual wiring itself. Uh, I think I'm going to hardwire the controller to the existing wiring that's there and have the fan running off a plug. That's my plan. I think I'm going to do it that way. Because originally the, the plug would go down to the fan controller. Um, but because we're doing away with that, uh, if I ever need to take the radiator out, I'd rather just unplug the fan rather than unplug the controller and have to... If I'm mounting it somewhere, I want to stay there, you know. I don't want to have to cut those cable ties twice, you know. So, yeah. I'll get started and then we'll have a, an E46 video. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed my MR2 video as well. That's had some good comments already. I posted that up last night. Uh, that was nice to edit on a computer. Obviously, these iPhone videos are just a bit like... Just a vlog in a, in a, in a literal sense, innit? I'm just videoing what I'm doing as like a like a build journal almost, which is pretty fun for me, but it's also nice, again, to be jazzy and stuff like that. Little red Corvette. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Thought I'd just quickly show you the differences in these radiator fans. So that's the one that I had on it, right? That's a 12-incher. This, now I looked out on this because I didn't, I didn't measure it, but I saw one and I thought, that's got to be about right. So we've got these little lug holes on the top, yeah? So we can go there. That one lines up to that one. That's bloody brilliant, isn't it, hey? And it's obviously a... I'm your biggest fan, Alan. I'm just a fan. Um, Cheshire. Um, so what we're going to do is mount that properly now. And obviously, you can see I had a bit of a... a, 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 a had a bit of a time trying to get it in there with the fan on. Yeah. Shit. Um, but yeah, that one will mount up lovely. We can just nut and bolt it maybe, or I'll figure something out. But we're going to put the radiator in first. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to look at the wiring and stuff and then get that in after. 
So, uh, if you want to know what this is, because I couldn't actually find out anyone saying what, what, what this was. It's, I think it was option 29 on Demon Tweaks, but... Um, uh, what was it, about ooh, about 1100 CFM? There's, there's bigger ones, you can get more air through them, but they're about an inch or two uh, deeper. I've got more girth on them where you know, I wanted a slim one that'll fit and, uh, and do the waftings. So yeah, that that'll should, should be brilliant. So, you know, we'll, we'll fit this, it'll be all nice. Whoa, ho, ho. Why are you not pulling it from the bottom, you mad spot? Go on, scrap bin. Too high. You're too high, you're not gonna get through the door, man. Ooh. Manny reach. Manny on the map. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, you should be moving it all. Just leave it there. She's solid, mate. She's just fine, that. Safe loadings. Right, back to this beast. Um, I'm gonna have to make these holes, these holes slightly larger because it doesn't quite fit into both holes. And rather than stretch the plastic, if I can just make these a mill or so bigger on each side, then I'm pretty confident it'll work then. Right, the fan is on. Ended up uh, making the holes on the fan a wee bit bigger. Uh, couldn't get in the drill there. If you're gonna do this yourself and you wanna put a 16 inch fan on, then just make those holes a little bit bigger on the radiator before you install it. Um, I had a bit of a pain installing this radiator. It was the tabs on this side. The the one that locates into where it sits was just slightly too long, so I had to get in there with a the grinder. And then the there's a tab just up here which kind of locates uh, into a little bracket off of where these aircon pipes are. Uh, that was being a real twat as well, so I had to take about two or three mil off the top of there as well just to get it to sit flush. Because, uh, well, there's about that much gap, but it's even all along a time. Um, originally, well, I was fighting with a while. I had a nice tight gap here, about half an inch or so. And on this side, I had like an inch, and I, I couldn't work out what it was. And it was because the tabs were too long uh, down here, which is a bit of a pain. And uh, I kept bending them on the uh, aircon pipes as well. So it might have been it might have been done myself, but I think ultimately they were, I'd say, just, just a bit off where they should have been and yeah it would have been a lot easier to install this radiator had i not have any aircon uh, i've also decided i'm not going to put the shroud on i've just tried to get it on there and it won't quite clear this area here between the the back of the electric fan and where the viscous fan used to sit uh, so yeah i'm just gonna ignore that we'll just not have a shroud for the time beings but that should be fine the cable comes out at a real nice angle just up here exactly where we want it Obviously you can rotate the fan either way if it's on a different car, but that's ideal for us. So my plans for this, I am going to, it'd be nice if I had another, if I had a male end of this plug, but I don't. Unless they've put one in the box, that'd be too nice. That's too much to ask for that, I think. Um, I'm going to cut these wires and I'm going to use this plug on here so that if I ever need to take the radiator out, I can unplug it. And then what I'm going to do is find somewhere nice for the... Where's she gone? The fan, the fan controller box. I'm gonna put the fan controller box somewhere around here. Obviously I've not got the most length on that. That actually sits in there, which will tidy you up a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll find find some of that sit, maybe just sort of zip ties around this, uh, these aircon pipes might just do for now, to be honest. But I don't know where she's gone, you know. What's that one for? It's doing the temperature sendings, so that would normally fit on the shroud, so we're going to have to tie him up somewhere as well. Yeah, I would, I would have liked to have the shroud on, but like I say, it's just been a, been a bit of a twat to push by here. Uh, so, we cannot. Cannot do that on the water pumpings. And I've also lost the fucking cat. I've got a, when I went to RD Motorsport for my bearings done, Rob put some uh, new bearings, new, new pulleys on, the, this one here, the tensioner. And it has a nice brand new shiny plastic cap to stop the nut that's in there getting well the, the socket head what is it eight mil allen bolt stop by getting rusty and i've fucking lost it the bastard whinge about something and it shall appear just another little ave tack for you pa66 gas fiber 35 not bad bmw not bad 
Oh, nice little satisfying click. Okay, radiator's in, lights one screwings. And yeah, I'm going to stop talking about what I'm going to do and actually do it. So I'll see you in a little while. Stage one is complete. Interested to know for those who solder or have been taught to solder. I did soldering when I was at school, but we just used to make big solder blobs. <laughs> didn't really learn a lot and I can't remember much but what I've always done when I've been soldering wires is usually the same gauge wire so you just you know um, make like a bit of an X and then try and straighten it like tie the tires together somewhat and do it that way but with, with these wires because the BMW wiring is so much thicker uh, than the rest of the wiring uh, this wire even from the spal fan is, is quite a lot smaller so all I've done is I've kind of made it as tight as I could and then forced one end into the other and kind of gripped it around there and then just put some solder in to bridge the gap and I'm thinking does does solder actually bridge the gap or does it just stick them together? I mean obviously it must be conductive or else you know, you, everyone wouldn't be using it right? Um, but yeah I was having a bit of a hard time because obviously the thinner gauge wire was getting hot a lot quicker with the uh, soldering iron and um, yeah, it was a little bit of a pain, but I mean that's how I'm gonna to have to do it on here as well, because obviously I can't, I can't twist anything to that. So I'm just gonna force the wire in, get them to be friends inside, get as tight as I can with the pliers, crimping around it and stuff, and then send some solder around it. I'm gonna to have to Google it and see, see the exact properties of the solder, I think. But yeah, we're we're getting there. This is fucking annoying. You fucking tell you, you'll find you, he'll fucking kill you. You've had to do the fucking chicken tape and fucking heat shrinks, not fucking getting too hot and sticking to fucking white. If I was to tell you that this took me hours, would you believe me? Of course you would, it's me. Hours, plural. But what a fucking. I mean, obviously it was going to be a pain because it was so start. So start start short short's the word um my soldering iron uh, absolutely fine on the thinner gauge wire but on the thicker gauge wire i don't know if i should have just crimped it instead probably nah. but here we are these are the games we play so i ended up you can see it in over the heat shrink. well first of all the heat shrink get kicked and stuck but then i remembered i had a bigger size so i managed to get it on this side and yeah, I've got some slid down there, which was meant to make all this tidy, but instead it's been used to, to go over there. But the um, the hot glue inside here started bubbling like fuck, and the wire was still not hot enough to take any solder. So it's it's pretty blobby, it's pretty horrible, but I'm hoping that because it's in place and that'll be it then, it'll have no problem. Um, I've disconnected the battery because when I first started trying to connect the power, it was sparky sparking, which kind of makes sense because, you know, live wire and stuff, but... Yeah, it was, it was a bit a bit scary, scary, you know. So, oh yeah, and this side of things, the heat shrink just, I didn't have a chance to anyway, so we've got the fucking tape on there, so. That's pretty lame, but it is what it is. I'm fucking fed up for doing this now. I'm going to get it mounted up down there somewhere around the aircon pipes. And then got the connector on for the fan. I noticed that this is broken as well, which is nice. Right, we're all rigged back up. So, fan, da, 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 fandango. Glad I kept the aircon now, because, you know, got somewhere to put that. That's just gonna sit there and chill and work away the soldering and eventually fall off. Um, I guess I could put a little cable tie around that tag there, maybe. Um, I mean, it's not going to work its way towards that belt, so that should be fine. Yeah, I got the water pipes back on. This one was a bit of a swat to get back on. For some reason, the pipe going into the water pump itself was protruding this way a little bit, which I must have accidentally done a bit of bendings on that. So I'll just put the air box back on. I got a new air filter from BMW, because it wasn't that much. It was like 20 quid or something, or... You know, I'm a normal price. Um, so yeah, I'll put the new air filter in, tidy all my tools away, start her up and we'll, uh, we'll get it on. Uh, apparently, 
the cooling system or yeah the cooling system apparently it's female in this car because it's a self bleeder so we just top up the water and it sorts itself out apparently apparently i might have to google that to confirm but yeah self bleeder France or Austria, who would win? Mighty car mods. Right, it's time to uh, put some put some water in her, start her up, and see where she leaks from. Um, I should probably put the oil cooler back on first, maybe. Yeah, I'll do that first. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's time. I overfilled her slightly. <laughs> uh. I guess we may as well get the grey out. Oh, look at this though, what a waste. I'll put this up on the wall somewhere. That's a full tool kit, that mate. Oh, well, the locky, locky, locky's gone. But I sacked them off. Look at this. Pre premium. I remember when this was a big deal. It still is a big deal, I'm gonna keep it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get, get these out. How do you come off? I don't know, maybe you come out with it all. Maybe we can just mount this on the wall as one piece, that'll be nice. And then if I ever need a special tool, I can just... Uh, oh, my new disc here, which are very nice. Oh, whoa, mama. Sealed. <laughs> They're actually sealed. <laughs> nice. We'll come back to these. Brakes in the next video. I'm still waiting for the rear pads. Padgid, hurry up, boys. Dead weight. No dramas with this battery at all, it's been mint. I'm thinking about getting one for the MR Tez, but we're right on the weight limit, aren't we? So, no rushings. What? I got a bit of water on these, but what's that? That's the new warning light. What does that mean? It's only yellow, so we don't have to worry about it too much. If I didn't have a keen eye, we'd be in trouble, because I've got all these fuckers out, and I was trying to remove this. I was like, what the fuck? And then I noticed, hey, Wait a minute. Of course, oh no, they are potted. Ah, I thought they were going to be torques, but as they're positive, I believe, just switch the old good hands. We should be able to remove this. Oh, we can. Self removal. I think we can all agree that the. Uh, Blue is going to look better than the fucking grey anyway, isn't it? Same with all this. We'll get rid of all this as well. We don't need it. All right. Oh, easy. So we don't need that anymore. There's 10 kilos. <laughs> hmm, she's a double skinner. Frank Skinner, double skin. wonder where the spoiler's going to go. You're going to be right up here, aren't you? Here somewhere. Ooh, that could be fun. Might have to do a little bit, a little bit of angle grindings first to make the hole for it. So I want to put like there's two M6 studs on each side, and I want to put like a plate just along them, just just something to try and spread it a little bit on this side anyway, because it's kind of spread on the on the outside. It's kind of spread anyway, so I mm, have to get the angle grindings out. I think I'll cut like a hole. I'll mark, I'll mark it up roughly. I get the spoiler and put it here on the inside so I can roughly see where it's going to go and then cut ourselves a window. 
because uh, really, otherwise we're not going to be able to nut her up, boys. How's the how's the cooling's doing? That light's gone off. I wonder if that was you've got no coolant in your. I put some more coolant in the expansion. So we better put the cap on actually, or else she's not going to be getting pressure, is she? I put the bleed screw back in because it just kept coming out. Like, what are you doing? Not heard the fan come on yet, but early days. Definitely not a self bleeder, by the way. I don't know if that's just some old man term for not having to make a lot of effort, but we've just got a little bleed screw here, which is nice. And I had that all the way out because the when I read how to bleed, it's like, oh, I'll take the bleed screw out. Uh, I guess that was just when you're filling it up and then once you start the engine you want to put it back in, but maybe I didn't read that far, it's possible. Also notice that my, uh, yeah, a bit of cooling about, this is Americano, what's all that about? Did someone stuck this on afterwards, maybe? Castula Formula S, RS, what's that? Interesting. Need a relay clicker. I wonder if that's trying to do the clickings for the no fannings yet. Oh, the fan is going, is it? You can't see the bladings. If it's going, it's fucking quiet. I think the fan is going. Very quiet things. I think the fan is going. Nice. All right, I've just offered the lass up, made some wee marks, but I believe I'll have to make some room in the metal, you know. And uh, yeah, well, I was gonna say, I've got the, take the grinder out, just make, make a bit of room, uh, then we'll go to the top, uh, mark out where we want to put it, drill through, hopefully we've done good on this side. All right, the old lass is bang up to temp now, I've got some hot air coming out my vents, oil's up to temp, eye drive's working, gear knob illuminated, what more do you want? So I reckon I'll give it just a couple more minutes, uh, the fan's definitely working, I can feel air coming from the front, uh, put my hand in the air dam area, which is nice, isn't it? Oh. Something's making a clicky click. It's making a clicky click. Yeah, you can feel air coming through there. You can feel hot air coming out the back. I wonder what was making a clicky click then. That was interesting, wasn't it? I don't know if you could hear it or not. Might just open the, the bleed valve once more. Get a little squirt out the back. Hopefully no more air. Seems alright. Probably put about Mm, probably eight and a half, nine litres of fluid in it, I think. I've done a full one of those ionised waters, and then I think I put all of those in there, a litre and a half. So, yeah, about nine litres. What's clicky clicky? Belt tension. Something's clicky clicking every now and again. But we won't worry too much about that. All right, I think she's happy, I'll turn it off then. Oh, I thought I could hear my fan then, but it's that fucking daft fan. So we'll leave her to, to cool for a little bit. Oh, nearly dropped the phone there, but recovered. Oh, we've got some steam coming. Where's the steamings coming from? Oh, I think that's just evaporating from 
from leaking out of here. Cause, yeah, definitely put the bleed screw back in afterwards. Uh, else you might have bad time. Get this air pipe back on, get the front fascia back on. Well, well, we'll, we'll let it cool down. I might just put this back on tomorrow, so I'll let it cool down and check the coolant tomorrow, just in case I've got to do this again. Yeah, she's happy. All right, it's on the radiator itself. Look, we've, we've dripped some coolant onto the radiator itself. She's having a quick vape, smoking curls. Okay, so let's let's do this spoiling because I've got to leave soon. Been here all day. That this this job here took well, it might take a professional bit bit short of time. But I was pissing about with this for probably about three hours. Hee 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 hee, baba. Yeah. Oh well. Happy with the fan though. It fits real nice and it's quiet as fuck. I expected a big. Maybe that means it's not only getting you know a ten percent of the amps that it needs, but it seems to keep the car cool. So shouldn't be too bothered. Maybe it's just because it's a, a spell they you known to be a bit quieter maybe or I don't know like I say I got the slimline one you can get one that's a bit thicker than this but we would have knocked into this pulley yeah, I didn't want to do that professional I've just looked kind of roughly where this is and it's it's about you can see a lot of fingerprint Ooh, no you can't you can now it's about about here but you can see there's another little bit of skin there which he didn't get the chop, but he can, he can get the chop. He can get the chop. Got a bit of wiggle room on this side as well. Um, I'm thinking I might have to take some of this out here as well and cut it a bit further up just to get, because I might want to, well, kind of want the spoiler as far back as you can get it in a sense, because then you know, it's a bit like an extension bar. The further back the force is pushing down, and the more force it's going to push down, yeah? So we don't want to. We've got this little OEM sport gurney spec thing. God, imagine washing it. Imagine spending the time to wash a van. Can you imagine anything worse? You only washed it last week as well, because I washed him. Washed him. Watched him. Just fucking absolutely lives to wash his van. Okay. Yeah, I'll just... Yeah. He had to go at me for not putting something over my paint when I was angle grinding, like... Fucking hell. As if... And then he has to go at me for buying a spoiler until it's max power. Can you believe that? Jesus. Anyway, I'm thinking I might have to take it up a bit further. Um, but what, what might be best off doing is to actually just get a drill in the top. Oh, it's raining now, nice one. I'm happy. That makes me feel a lot better. Uh, might be better just to, to drill in here and then, then we'll definitely know for sure. So, interlude. I mean, I'm... All for detailing, but just at what cost? At what cost? I'm just talking about detailing and like how, how there's so much better things to do. And I mean, look at look at what a brilliant job Tapwater's doing right now to get in this dust away. Hey, what more do you want? Who needs to detail? The detailing's fine, keeping your cars shine and all that, but once you start getting into Mr. I Fuck Kids territory, then. It just it's too far. You need to you need to stop. You need to stop it man. Okay, my spoiler is 815 mil, right? Which is quite narrow actually on the on, on the on the bolts, so it's, it's a lot further in than oh no I did mark it up though, right? I did mark it up, so it might just look different from up here. Uh the boot lid at the bottom, uh, like down here, like across, obviously it's a it's tapered as it goes in, so it's it's longer at the the front than it is the back. Um so I've just kind of done the difference of them, which I think that number's right, 16, uh, j j j yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then I've just, just made some, some lines here. And I'm not gonna drill straight away because I don't, I don't really trust this. I'm gonna go get the spoiler again. Good maths, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I need to half it. Dun. Dumbass. What's half, 365, 132.5. Oh God, we're getting a bit, a bit millimeter ridge here, aren't we? <laughs> of course, I meant to say uh, 182.5. <laughs> okay, round two of my Mathingtons. Now, these holes are six mil wide anyway, so we'll not 
worry too much. But yeah, there we go, look. And we want it about, about there. How's that look on the side? Are you gonna stand? No, you're not gonna stand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that should work. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll make a box here, um, measure the distance between these two studs, do some holes. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now I'm going back now. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. If we're going by that line, then you might think that it's a bit off, but I did measure off the back of the, oh, I did measure off the back of this as well. So I think it might have just put that line in one place, but I guess we'll see if it's squiffy or not. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Please, Ooh, please fit. Oh, it's backwards. Yeah, I don't want to be taking off. I think she's perfect, but she's not far off. Just a bit of a, a little bit of a wiggle on the drill, maybe, and I'll get that in. If we look between that and that, we've got a finger, right? Between that and that, finger. Well, she's fighting against uh, the the second skin on the front on both of them back ones. This one's pretty happy, but yeah, it's the metal inside that we're fighting against. I can show you quickly. Oh baby, don't fall. So, look, see where I've put the hole, but she don't want to go. That one's, that one's not too bad. But what I'm going to have to do is take this panel out, like we guessed we might. Um, that's actually going into another panel. It's like triple skinned almost. So we can see the one. Oh, where is she? See that one? And it's, it's supposed to be this one here where the, the studs go in the other way. Obviously we can't see this side, but we imagine the same is happening. Which is interesting, because like I say, we got the, got the drill through, didn't we? Uh, unfortunately, I've run out of time. I'll give you a quick look of what it'll look like. I'm gonna come back up here tomorrow and uh, carry on. But for today, we're done. I'm gonna end the video because I'm gonna probably have a, a day off the videos tomorrow and join you again on Sunday. But I think it's pretty straight. We'll do some measurements, shall we? Just to be sure. Oh, this is meant to be the climax of the video. Well, sorry, it is the video, isn't it? M3 getting new wang and that. So we'll go to the front one, to the edge, straight as we can get it is 190 at the front. And the front one to the edge is, I mean, what were we, how were we were potentially half a mil, oh no, if I, if I Put it down a bit. Yeah. So I have to tell if I was straight or not. I mean, with the boot being tapered and stuff. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm happy with that. That's fucking sound. So I got it pretty far back. Um, when these come down, there's not going to be a lot of room between there. That's what I was leaving this gap here for. So uh, yeah, that should be pretty good. But like I say, unfortunately, chaps, I've run out of time. <laughs> Get the fucking state of it now. Right chaps, so we're all done with today's video. Look at the mess. I'm gonna have to leave this because I need to dash. But a quick one just to say, I've been a good one in the end. Uh, I spent quite a lot of time trying to get that wiring right for the fan controller and 
in the end, it was a bit of a mess to be honest, and it's not, it's not really. You know, we're talking in the previous video if BMW knows best, and I, I definitely don't think I know. Maybe I know best, but in practice, you know, some of the practical side of things still get in there, and I think probably should have definitely just used a crimp instead. Uh, in hindsight, but whatever, it's it's soldered together now. It's all in place. It's, it's not going to be moving or anything. It's you know, the cable ties where they need to be. Everything's getting held on pretty well, so. That should be all right. Obviously, I've made a start on my spoiler. I'm going to finish that tomorrow, do my brakes. Um, maybe I will do a little video tomorrow, I don't know. I'll not, I'll not do a super long one though, because I'll try and break it. I think this one's been a long one, as it is, but because I made so many goofs, what did I call it earlier? I can't remember what I said. Because, because I messed up so many times um, in the other one and didn't really, uh, obviously didn't know that until afterwards. I'm just we rectified quite a few wrongs today. I've got a, got a nice big fan on at work, doing the job. Coolant's all bled up, radiators on. And uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like a lot to say I've been here eight and a half hours, does it? See you next time. Holy shit, boys. I had high drive on the way here and I'm getting it on the way home. Today is a gift. Right chaps, it's the day after. I'm just about to put the spoiler on for good. Been doing some tweakings this morning. Uh, I just thought I'd show you how I uh, ended up doing it and what it ended up looking like. So I had to make my access hole slightly larger and the second skin that's kind of in there uh, wasn't too bad on this side. Let's make this hole a bit bigger because it kept getting in the way. Um, this side, uh, the same, you can see I've done some real nice yeeting with the uh, the grinder. I had to cut away, I had to cut it away just there because um, it was it went real messy on this side. Um, but what I'm doing is underneath I've got these bits of steel that I've made, uh, which uh, I was going to paint, but I'm, I might just cover them in WD and put them in um, because I'm going to put the going to put the carpet back in. I think. Um, just because, um, yeah, real messy that, innit? and I, I quite like having the, the toolbox in there, to be honest. I think I'll still get rid of all the rear stuff, but it'll make it look a bit neater somewhat. I might paint it black, I <laughs> see, yeah, getting a bit trendy now, but, uh, these are quite thick, I think they're a four mil, um, and yeah, they just go under where the spoiler sits on the back, just to, um, for one, pull the, the skins together a little bit, and for two, just give it a bit more grunt, um, rather than just having it with, with washers. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I've decided to do. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm just going to put it in now. So I thought I'd show you before I do that. I'm going to put some just some silicon around the holes uh, from the top and the bottom. And, uh, yeah, that should be that should be good. So I'll get it together now and show what it looks like. Doing the siliconings. Bit blobby that, Mr. Blobby. Oh, this was a task. Shouldn't have been a task, should it? But we're done. So, got my plates on. Yeah. <laughs> so on this side, firstly I dropped the fucking plate and couldn't get it. And uh, where's my magneto gone? There we go, look. Magneto snapped. So, I had to cut an access hole. And then... The chuffing studs that come out are both fucked because um, they've been basically cut with a grinder and not cleaned up afterwards. So, Flavor's first file came out, sorted the job, and now this looks so minging. So, I am definitely going to put that uh, rear cover back on and perhaps should have cut this inside there so you couldn't see the, the access hole. But, whatever, it's not a show car. Let's see how it looks with the cover on. Isn't she lovely? Oh, I'll put that in the wrong way. Isn't she lovely? 
isn't she wonderful? Right, right. Don't worry about that. Oh, baby. Doing the downfall things. One spoiler installed. Schleifer. Hmm. Thanks for watching.